Hey, and welcome to video number two. We're going to talk about what products are allowed and what products are not allowed. And we're also going to talk about the do's and the don'ts. So let's go ahead and get started. What products are allowed? Well, they must be original to avoid copyright issues. So original means you created the product. It does not mean that you buy a private label rights product and you can put it on ClickBank. Uh, you will see some private label rights products, but you know there's no guarantee that those people will be staying up there. So by legally, ClickBank rules say that you must be the original owner. Uh, so if you do take a private label rights product and you do change around completely graphics, sales page, you know, everything in it, and you do complete, you know, change it to the point that it becomes your own product, then that's a possibility. You might want to run that by ClickBank first. The product itself must be a digital product and delivered digitally through your website. So that means that it's got to be downloadable. So let's say, for example, that you buy a product and it's got to be something that somebody can download they can watch on your website they can use it and so forth now you can however you can ship for example books CDs and DVDs to your customers but that product you know can be complementary to the main product which means that your main product is something that they can download so complementary say for example that it's you've got a video course like this one and they don't necessarily need a report uh, but it's an optional report that you include with the product so you also might want to run that by Clickbank as well but if your product is only a DVD and you ship it through Kunaki and that's it and that's your main product uh, then Clickbank is not going to approve uh, that product unless it's you know they're able to download it immediately within you know let's say a few minutes or a couple hours now let's talk about the types of products that Clickbank does not allow now you can check this list from Clickbank um, but pretty much what Clickbank wants you to do is they want to make sure everything is original and not copyrighted content so Number one, you don't want to have content in there that belongs to somebody else. If it belongs to somebody else in any way, whether that's pictures, content, text, movies, videos, games, music, and so forth, then you definitely want to avoid that. So anything that's copywritten by somebody else, if it's a PLR, privately rights product, and you did not create that privately rights product, then you probably don't want to put that up on ClickBank. There are a lot of ClickBank like PLR based products, but that's a risk that you will take. That's a risk that you will take that, you know, might close your account down. So you definitely want to avoid doing that. Now, anything illegal, anything unethical is generally what ClickBank does not like. However, some people's definition of legal and unethical can be different so that's why there's this list of products number three we have spyware obviously you know you can have an anti spyware software but uh, you don't want to be selling viruses and spyware and people do that um, anything with existing depths uh, promissory notes digital cash spending counts money transfers gift certificates and most likely uh, a lot of these things is because somebody else did it and it just didn't work out uh, you got security stocks bonds deeds titles lottery tickets sweepstakes wagers wager pools gambling or betting of any kind uh, there used to be a lot of gambling uh, products but a lot of them were pulled off um, uh, pornography any type of pornography Pornographic entertainment, uh, war as war as is basically like illegal stuff, um, pirated software, pirating tools, hacking tools, uh, proxies, 
um, remote bots. Proxies are basically IP addresses, um, shell accounts, dial-ups or dial-ins, phone services, phone minutes, cell messaging, SMS type stuff. And if you really don't know what this stuff is, then, then good. You, you don't have that product. Uh, spamming type tools, fake ID tools, credit reports, credit repair, uh, professional services including accounting, legal, medical, pharmaceutical services. And if, yeah, a lot of these, like I said, credit reports and credit repair. It's also because, you know, FTC, ClickBank is ruled in, is in the USA. So, you know, the FTC, where the FTC says not to do, they try to avoid that as well because uh, it just makes their lives more complicated. Social security number searches, uh, term papers or other academic works. Anonymous proxies, proxy lists, password lists, hotel and travel reservations, seminar tickets, vouchers, event reservations, franchises, franchise opportunities, MLM type stuff, basically pyramid stuff, products about marketing through Craigslist or social networking sites like social media type stuff. Any materials containing and endorsing discrimination, violence, hatred, revenge, racism, victimization, criminal activity, and any other category ClickBank decides to prohibit. So the last one is kind of vague, but obviously anything illegal, you want to probably move away from that. It's always good to check with them, contact them first, and you know run your product buy them if your product is somewhat borderline uh, something that you might think would be prohibited uh, by Clickbank so that way you don't have to go through the process of setting up your site for Clickbank specifically only to find out that it's not going to be approved uh, that's happened to several people before and you definitely don't want to avoid that um, I didn't see list building on here, but I do believe they don't like list building type products. Uh, but like I said, go ahead, uh, check with ClickBank, make sure that the product is compliant with their system because they can always add to this list. Now I want to talk about the do's and the don'ts. Two things, uh, you, several things, but the first two things are primary uh, number one your pitch page must describe the product clearly uh, that's a biggie I've had my product approved and disapproved several times because the pitch page was not necessarily clear if your sales page is not clear as to what it is selling what the person gets and then how to buy the product and have a money-back guarantee uh, then they're not going to prove that especially they look specifically on your money back guarantee if your money back guarantee is like okay no refunds then it's not compliant to the clickbank network because they offer 60 days refunds so if you want to sell on clickbank you've got to comply with a their pitch page rules and I'll go over that when we create the pitch page number two your thank you page must give the product or give instructions on how to get the product immediately. So let's say for your example, your thank you page is your download page. If your download page you know, has the files and great, but let's say you're using some sort of script like a member pro or some sort of security script that requires them to create an account so that they get the downloads. You need to make sure specifically that okay number one you need to do this you need to create your account to get the files and so forth you need to be very very clear otherwise Clickbank will look at that and they'll say oh it's confusing uh, you need to fix this and that so you want to make sure that you get everything right the first time so that you don't have to get disapproved you know and, and go through the process of doing that so you definitely want to double check before you submit your product for approval because let's say for example a recurring billing products uh, 
ClickBank says that there are no changes that can be made to recurring billing products after they are approved. So you want to make sure that you get it right the first time. Another thing that they want is pretty obvious, but a lot of vendors do miss out on this. You want to make sure that you support your customers via email, phone, or help desk. You don't have to do phone as long as you do via email and help desk. But you want to do this to prevent you know, refunds and chargebacks. And ClickBank does monitor your refund rate and your chargeback rate. So if you get a lot of refunds and you get a lot of chargebacks, a lot of times they will actually ban you from their network. So you definitely want to make sure that people are clear you know, that you will honor your refund, uh, your money back guarantee and your refunds and your chargeback to avoid those chargebacks. Uh, because when they do charge back, you have to kind of pay a fee with any payment processor, you know, a PayPal or ClickBank. Uh, so you definitely want to avoid that. And even if you do get a charge back, that doesn't always mean it's your fault. It just means that the customer didn't contact you uh, to get that refund. And <clears throat> another thing, they can also contact ClickBank to get a refund as well. And also you want to do make sure that it's easy for affiliates to promote your product. You want to make sure that you provide them with the necessary tools to do so so that they can bring sales to you. And that's the beauty. You get people promoting your product even though you might get, you know, 25 to 50% commissions. You're really not doing much except the affiliates doing all the work. You're just providing the product itself and the support. A couple don'ts. There's not a lot of don'ts, but basically, if you, as long as you comply with ClickBank rules, then the don'ts that are left are you don't want to ignore your customers unless you want refunds and chargebacks and bad feedback. So definitely keep your attention on your customer and make sure you take care of your customer. Don't skip video number nine. Video number nine, we're going to talk about how to choose the right categories how to add the correct marketplace title, description, and so forth before you pay your activation fee. So you definitely want to make sure you get everything right because this is one of the fundamental basics. And don't violate trademark, copyright law, or DC, DMCA, which is the Digital Millennium Copyright Act. So you definitely want to make sure the product is yours. You don't want to violate copyright. You don't want to use pictures that are not yours. And if you do use pictures, and make sure that you use a royalty-free site like BigStockPhoto.com or iStockPhoto.com. So with that said, let's move on to video number three. We're going to talk about the vendor checklist, what you need to have. Uh, we're going to go over to sites and show you what you need to get uh, before you move on to video number four which is going to be a fun part you're going to get to see step by step what you need to do and you get to watch some screen capture videos which are a lot more fun 